Right, in this video we are going to look at the illuminating subject of the interior lights on the new Land Rover Defender, or should Tyler we call them the inferior lights on the new Land Rover Defender. So, right, so if you come into the back of our Defender, they seem to have not really considered lighting on the interior of this car. There are some lights, let me... There are some lights at the back on the boot space, but they're kind of low down. We have upgraded them. You haven't got anything at the top here. You stay there, Tyler. I'll zip around here. We do have some lighting here. We've, we've taken the other one out. We're playing with it. But you're somewhat restricted, and you don't have a center dome light. This fit in here is not a standard fit, and this is something I've sort of put into my roof. But there is an absence of overhead lighting and it, it does get kind of gloomy anyway we've been thinking haven't we Tyler we've been trying to work a solution and there's a guy in Canada I forget your name but you'll know who you are everyone will know who he is he's, he's on YouTube and he's got some ideas and he's said oh Simon you need to look at this but before I'd had a chance to think well we had had a think Tim has come up with a brilliant solution which I'm going to show you today and I, I can't improve on this so I'm going to sell Tim's idea so it is a strip that is going to sit up here we're going to show you how to fit it it's plug and play we are going to test it we haven't even turned this on yet have we and he's ingeniously come up with one of these little parasitic connectors so let's just try it first tyler before we so you can we're gonna to have to do this in the video anyway we can pop these interior lights out they just pull out and there's a little button to press here at the at the, at the back even i'm gonna press that little button in there you go it's a bit you can see that tile that little button thing he pressed there. Yeah. And then and then it should, in theory, one end should go on here. It should be foolproof. Let's have a look. Not that way around. That way around. Whoa! Whoa! Right. So yeah, that's quite bright. And then you can still plug in your original one as well. So there we go. That's quite that's sort of diffused, isn't it? And then that is gonna sit up here and hope. And that's a lot better because that's not shining in your eyes like these ones at the side tend to. And that's that's a fair bit of light. We're we'll have to do a before and after shot um, and we'll get some darkness going on. But that's really going to help you get in. Now, one thing we're looking at doing is fitting a sort of semi-fixed parcel shelf across here. Um, now, which would mean these, these lower lights would look like the lower section and this light would light onto the shelf. So it's quite good right so let's have a look how to fit it let's unplug this before we get blinded tyler right then so we can unplug that so i think that so the trick is you you can pull this panel down if you want and we may do to have a look at it but it, it can break it's got some clips on it we've broken the one here um but it should just clip in so do you want to jump in the back tyler and we'll see if we can film this right we Tyler's jumped in the back, we've got some lights. So basically we're gonna clip it in, we're gonna run the wire behind here. Tim's done a video, um, but we'll do another one. Down the back here, because we've got a Tyler, he didn't have a Tyler to help him hold the camera. We're gonna go to, and then we're gonna remove this, so let's get on with it. So let's remove the fuse box cover. I should just pull off, shouldn't it, Tyler? Yeah. Yeah. That's got, it's, it's got some little pseudo springy clips you go and then you've got to get this this off you it's really tight on this so you almost got to go in sideways on that haven't you tyler I've, you want to go in let me pop those two off that gets the fuse box cover off and that's going to give us that's going to give us a little more room to get in behind here because look we can get behind yeah i can touch my fingers behind there so that that will right and then we've got to pull this bit off I'm not sure whether we should do that. Should we do the fitting? Yeah, let's let's fit it. So it's gonna go. Oh, this is a bit weird. This video is it working all right, Tyler? Yeah. So we've got to get that cable because of the way it's mounted here. We're gonna to have to get that in first. All right, let's get that right back in, and then I guess we're gonna to want to mount this midway between the two. Now, before I go clipping it in, so what it's gonna do is, can you see there's a little slot there yeah. like on the camera? Now. That's where this edge bends round up. That is going to grip onto it. Now, it should clip on, but we're going to have to sort of open it a little bit. We're going to have to flex it a little bit just to snap in. Now, it should 
if we get it right, snap in. So let's let's just get it in place in the central first before we worry. Because we can move it left and right. Right, now let's see if we can do this snap trick. So I think I'm going to have to press up on the panel here. It's a bit tricky. And I've got to sort of open that gap a bit. And let's have a go. There you go. That probably did near that. But that did. I'm going to have to sort of push push up with my thumb here and try and open the gap a bit. Well, let's get that. There you go. Oh, did you hear that click? Yeah. So that one clicked in. Sorted his light. So we can now rattle that round here. Now, I don't know whether we'll get behind here. Tim's suggesting that we'll have to take this panel out. But I reckon he might. I oh, know, but we're not going to be able to root him down, are we? No. No. So... Right, this panel here, you can pull it outwards there to release the top, but the bottom has got to go up. So we've sort of got to get it. And... There you go. Now, can I just lose that down the back of there? Let's draw it. There we go, I can see him. Can you see him, Tyler? Yeah, so I think there's one of the prongs here, so you've got to try and tuck it in down here, not so much around the end there. Right, and then I've got that there, and then all I've got to do is pass it through here. There's a little bit of wadding in here, but I'm through, look, there you go. He's in, I've got the wad in. Come on. It's going to come out like a, like a cotton wool sheep. Did you ever make those at school time? Right and look. Right and I got that bit. It's all a bit fluffy now. There you go. Right and I'll stop it rattling, won't it? Right and yeah, we'll just check that these won't rattle. You could wrap a bit of foam around them, but I don't think they're gonna. Right then, are we ready to be blinded? So we've got to get that round on to there. Oh, wrong way. Come on, Simon, you can do this. Honestly, you can. There we go. Right then. Bam. All right. Tuck that in. Lose that. Bosh, bosh. All right. And, ah, put that in. All right. Squeeze all that. Let's just check it all fits in. Did that go from the bottom? It did, didn't it? Yeah. That, that connector goes down to the bottom. Now, I'll try not to blind the camera. Right. There we go. That's it all done. Tie the hat. That is our, our uh, yeah, our boot light install done. Perfect. I can't improve on that. I've got no ideas. I think Tim has absolutely smashed that. He's kept it dead simple. It's a nice light. It's not in the way. It doesn't shine forward too much. It doesn't shine backwards too much. That's, it's going to come on and off as you open the door. Brilliant. So we'll put these for sale on our website. I know Tim's got them for sale on his website check out tim's stuff at defender 3d or check out if you want to look on our website we'll have them on powerfuluk.com good luck with that